The Spook Style plug is one of my favorite plugs to throw on the surf. I find it to be the most versatile topwater plug that you can use. Um, I much prefer big spooks. This, this plug is almost nine inches long. Um, and I like them because they present a very large target and there's a lot of different things you can do with them. So you have a lot of versatility in action. Uh, so I'm going to show you a couple of the things that I like to do. So what I'm talking about when I say that you can you have a lot of versatility and speed is that you can really step on the gas when a fish comes up behind the plug. And we're going to have to use our imagination here because I don't think I'm going to get hit. But uh, you can see me just moving this plug real slowly back and forth like that. Now let's just imagine that a fish boils behind the plug. And the objective is to work with these paddles. The paddle is actually, it vibrates. And, if it, it, and, and fish have lateral lines. And because they have lateral lines, they can sense it. And this paddle tail here sense that vibration and it, it actually uh, it, is an attractant and fish will kind of tune into it and they'll strike it. Um, but again, fish it really slow, close to the bottom, and you gotta feel this paddle tail fluff, flutter, you know. And like you do uh, fishing a rip line, you know, just like a bucktail, you do the same principle, cast it up tied and hit it on the strike zone and just get it really close to the bottom and just hold on because when they hit this thing, when you're working it right, you know, they will literally pound hard on it and practically try to take the rod out of your hands. Work it nice and slow and bounce the bottom as close to the bottom as possible. And you need to feel the tail flutter. If you don't feel the tail flutter and it's fluttering a little too fast, you know, you're going too fast. Uh, the key thing is you have to feel it vibrating just like this, a nice little flutter, and that's how you know you're working it right. If you know that there's bunker around, you go large profile. If you know there's a uh, mullet around, you take it down to a smaller profile. And if there are uh, Achilles or uh, Burgals, you take it to a smaller profile. The ob objective is, you know, try to match the hatch. And it's always uh, good when you're fishing out there, just don't go out there with, uh, with your blinds on. Go out there, take a pause, look around, take a look at the water, and that, you know, just staring at the water, try to find out what kind of bait fish is in the area, it goes a long way. Not a lot of people, I don't think, use metal lips in Montauk. I don't see a lot of them. Everybody's on the daughters, everybody's on the needlefish, the bucktails. But I've caught so many fish on metal lips, man. Um, Danny Plug, this is a Bob Hahn. You know, you don't have to go fancy and get a thousand dollar metal lip. You know, I mean, Bob Hahn, when he was making plugs, these were like eight to ten bucks. I don't know what they go for online now, but I still have a lot of his plugs. Um, you know, Gibbs Danny Plugs, they're great. You know, anything like that. You don't have to go with a lot of money. And they're great for really calm nights, um, especially on the north side, sometimes on the south side if it's calm enough. And you just roll them around the rocks. And the fish are right there. It's, like I said, it's shallow water in Montauk. So, you know, you're not fishing like 30 feet of water and the fish are down, you know, 30 feet below. I mean, the fish are right here. And they're going to come up and hit that, especially with that profile and that V-wake that they create. Morning folks, Lou Caruso from Surfcasters Journal and uh, today we're going to talk about Lama Glass. Back in the day, Lama Glass was the staple of Long Island Surfcasters. Once Graphite came into play, they followed suit right behind Kennedy Fisher, 
produced the rod. You had two rods that we used, the GSB 120 1M, which is a 10-foot rod, and then you had the GSB 132 1M, which is 11-foot. Just about anybody that had a graphite rod had one of these two rods, especially if you fish the, the, the hard surf, Montauk, you're swimming out to rocks. They were the staple. Nowadays, everybody and his brother, there's all kinds of new rods out there. But these have always been the staple. Yeah. Wow. Why, well, didn't Good. even budge? <laughs> He's, Are you surprised? The, I, I am really, really surprised. I'm going to uh, slow down a little bit the video so the guys can see what you are actually surprised about because it, it happens in split second where, you know, you can't right. really see what happened. But tell me what you're surprised about. Um, the recovery, the rod's not, after the cast, in the past on a, on a GSB, you get this on your tip. And while your line is going out and this is going on, you're losing distance. You're creating friction and you're losing distance. The recovery is, is pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. 